Hey there! This is the story of Ted the Thanksgiving Turkey. That's me! And it's my story about a Thanksgiving dinner that happened long ago. It's also a Thanksgiving dinner that I just didn't want to be a part of. At least, not looking up from a plate. Oh yeah, the story has a few math challenges thrown in at the end of each chapter just to keep things interesting. So grab a pencil and get ready to put in your best effort. Hope you enjoy the tale, and here we go. Chapter 1, The Chase. Thanksgiving is really a fun day. Thanksgiving is really quite great. But for turkeys like me that say gobble, we're running before we get eight. A long time ago, I was pecking seeds from the ground in the sun. When I heard hungry pilgrims were coming, I knew it was time to go run. The pilgrims screamed, we want to eat you. And Squanto screamed, I'll eat you too. I told them that nobody eats me. Their dinner would have to fall through. They chased me through colored fall forest. Those hunters were tight on my tail. I was screaming and screaming so loudly, chicken and duck are on sale. And now it's time for math challenge number one. Make sure to pause the video to give yourself a chance to work. Which would cost you more and which do you consider a better deal? 16 pounds of chicken at 96 cents a pound or 18 pounds of duck at 84 cents a pound? I just hope they're both better deals than turkey. I really don't like it when people buy turkey to eat for dinner. If you said that 16 pounds of chicken at 96 cents a pound cost $15.36 and 18 pounds of duck at 84 cents a pound cost $15.12, you'd see that the chicken would be 24 cents more expensive. Now which one's a better deal? I guess that's a matter of opinion. Do you like chicken, duck, or maybe you just like vegetables and stuffing? In any case, I guess it's time for chapter two. Chapter two, caught. The hunters were getting too close. I wish I could really fly far, but turkeys just aren't good flyers. So I jumped in my friend's sporty car. I raced from the town they call Plymouth. I tried to escape it alive, but then I remembered some bad news. Turkeys don't learn how to drive. I unbuckled my seatbelt so quickly and jumped out the driver's side door, but then it was too late for running. The hunters had caught me for sure. They threatened to stuff me with stuffing. Tears came to my two turkey eyes. They said they would eat me with gravy, cranberry, and three pumpkin pies. Now it's time for math challenge number two. Remember to pause the video to give yourself some time to work. If you need 15 pumpkins to make five pumpkin pies, how many pumpkins would you need to make 25 pumpkin pies? Well, if it takes 15 pumpkins to make five pies, then it takes three pumpkins for each pie. So, if you're gonna make 25 pumpkin pies, and each pie takes three pumpkins, then it's 25 times three pumpkins, which is 75 pumpkins. Now it's time for chapter three. Chapter three, cooked. They brought me straight out to the kitchen. They turned up the fire real high. I was screaming at all those mean hunters. I refuse to bake, boil, or fry. They wrangled me into a big pot. A horrible, terrible sight. The water was boiling quickly. Was this really my last turkey night? The kitchen became very quiet. I peeked out and looked all around. I saw a small boy and his sister and waved without making a sound. The girl said, I like this turkey. The boy said, I like it a lot. They turned off the fire completely and pulled me right out of the pot. This turkey's our favorite pet. This turkey's new name is now Ted. They dressed me right up like a pilgrim with a hat that fit tight on my head. Now it's time for math challenge three. Don't forget to pause the video to give yourself some time to work. If I thank the boy and girl 36 times an hour for the next three days, assume it was for all 24 hours in the day, how many times had I thanked them for saving me from being cooked? Well, if each day has 24 hours, then three days has 72 hours. And 72 times 36 thank yous is 2,592 thank yous. That's a lot of thank yous. Anyway, it's time for chapter four. Chapter four, happy Thanksgiving. They took me straight out to the table. The adults, they weren't too glad. 
What did you do with our dinner? Asked Guanto, who sounded so mad. This is our turkey called Ted. He's the favorite pet that we own. I will never let anyone eat him. We'll keep him here right in our home. I had my own chair at the table, my food sitting there on my plate. Veggies and stuffing and gravy. This Thanksgiving was gonna be great. And that's why I love each Thanksgiving. And that's why I'm thankful each year to have such a wonderful family that loves me and treats me so dear. The end.